Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to do the flooding technique. Like you see here in this photo, the flooding technique is used in all sorts of shapes and sizes when you're not making an actual dot. It can be used in Otana patterns when we are making larger circles, square shapes, leaf shapes, and so on. And today's example comes from the Autumn Jewel Mandala. Let's get started and I will show you how to do this very easy step-by-step -step fun technique. The first step in the flooding technique is to draw the shape. In this case, it is a circle shape that I am drawing using the Otana circle templates. Step two, we're going to take the color that we want our shape to be filled in with and use a brush or a stylus tool and outline very carefully the shape. I will often do this step for three or four of the shapes at a time. Next, you're going to flood the shape with the paint color. You can do this using a bottle by just putting a little bit inside of the shape and moving it around with the brush, or you can move it over bit by bit from a paint tray, which you definitely need to do if you have a mixed color. I just go ahead now and do this for all of the shapes that I have outlined. All that's left to do now is repeat the process. I'm going to keep going and filling in and painting the edges until all 12 of these circles are complete. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to head over to otana.com where you're going to find all kinds of additional resources to help you with your dot mandala journey.